The holidays are in full swing around here. My house is decorated and we're getting ready for our church Christmas party. One of the things that happens at the Christmas party is we like to decorate. And this year we are going to be putting up these adorable uh, paper bag snowflakes all over the gym in the, of the church. And so there's a couple of us making these. So today, since I'm making 10 of these, I thought I would give you a quick tutorial and just show you how easy these are to make. So I'll show you a couple different ones. We have this one. I've already made three. This one. And then you can see the one in the back over there. Now these are simple. All you need are nine paper bags, a hot glue gun, a good pair of scissors for paper, some extra hot glue sticks, and you may or may not want a pencil, uh, just depending on if you want to draw your design. Now the best thing about these paper bag designs is they are very, very forgiving. I should have sort of showed you how horrible. Mine, they're not symmetrical, they're not even, and they still turn out this cute. So there is no skills required when doing this. So what I like to do, it takes nine paper bags to make one of these, but I separate mine into a set of four and a set of five because it's very hard to cut through all nine at one time. And so I have found for me, just so that I don't have to hurt my hand, that I can do this in two sets. Then what you want to do is make sure your hot glue gun is hot, which I believe mine is. You're going to look at the anatomy of your paper bag. Okay, we have our little flap and the bag, and then you can see the seam along here. The way we're going to do this is we're going to put the flap of the bag down, okay? Then you're gonna take your hot glue gun and you're going to glue a T. So see how we're just gonna go along this with our glue. Get mine to come out here a bit more. Then you're gonna take your second bag. You're going to line it up on top as close as possible, just like that. Then you're gonna do it again. Make an upside down T. So down the seam and across the bottom of the bag so that the openings of the bags are up here at the top. So we're gonna first do so first, put your four together and put your five together so that you have your two sets of bags. There's my five. Now let's do the four. Okay, so now we have our two sets, which together make nine, but in our, in our sets. And then what you wanna do is you want to attempt a design. I kind of like to sketch mine out first because then I kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like, but really you don't need to. You can just take your scissors and start cutting. Now the goal of your design is we have the bottom flap, okay, and you can kind of see the indentation of it here on the top. You want your design to begin above that and your points to be at the top. So just on the overhead here, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna kind of go at a Christmas tree design. So we're gonna come out, I'm gonna come in, out, in, out, in, out. All the way to, the, to that part right there. So then in, out. You guys, you can see, I am not an artist. This is not, I mean, those aren't even level, but it doesn't matter, it really doesn't. And then I'm going to just do a loop and a loop, okay, about, let's make them, a, at least attempt to make the same size. Okay, so now let's cut it out. And you notice I'm not drawing onto my second one because I'm going to trace. You guys are gonna see this is, so that I can make them a, at least a little bit the same. So then you just start cutting these out. Seriously, it's this simple. Okay. And up to the top. Okay, see that? I mean, real, it's not, I mean, it's not even, you guys, look how horrible that is. It really is not going to matter. That is the best thing about this craft is they turn out stunning no matter what. Then I'm just gonna lightly trace this here, even my horribleness, and we're gonna just scoop that out like that, 
chunk, 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 and bam. Okay, you see that? Now, let's cut out this half. Then we're gonna glue them together. And even if, like, my cuts aren't perfect, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You guys are gonna see. You're gonna be like, wow, look how great that turned out. That was such a horrible cutting job. <laughs> and you're gonna be like, I can do this. You guys, kindergartners can do this. This would be a fun activity for teachers or for, you know, primary groups at church. Any, any craft day that you have with like a bunch of kids, my, my boys even have been like, hey mom, save a couple so we can help with them. Okay. See that? We're out. Okay, we're gonna just push these off to the side here. Hopefully the camera doesn't focus on those. Then, what we need to do is we need to glue these two together. Look at that. They're not even going to be exact, but like I said, it's not gonna matter. Let's get another glue stick in here. Chunk. All the way down our T. My glue stick needs to push out some more glue. There we go. Okay. So line it up as good as you can. Like I said, as you can tell, it doesn't have to be perfect. But there they are. Okay, we've lined them up as good as we can get. Then the prettiness comes out when we do the last bit of glue. Then we're gonna open it up. So what I like to do is I like to practice it once because sometimes they get a little stuck here or there. So we're gonna grab our ends and we're gonna just prep it. Ooh, this one's gonna be so pretty. So right here is where we glued those together. A lot of times that happens, these kind of stick. There, we just need to pull that apart. Okay, so it's gonna open just fine now. Glue our T again. Then the w easiest way I found is you stick your hand in here and be careful, it might be a little warm to the touch. And you stick your other hand in this one and you weave them around like this and then you just press them together. <laughs> and it is as simple as that. You have a fun, beautiful snowflake. Whatever design you did at the top will be around your edges and whatever design you did down the side will be right here. You can see on some of these others, I did more designs along, along the side and less at the top, but each and every snowflake is so unique and so beautiful. I finished the last six snowflakes. And I wanna show you what to do in case you want to hang them. You can see I have adjusted all of mine to hang. The best time in order to attach the hanger is right when you are creating the open snowflake. So let's start with this crazy wonky thing. I've got the stringer stuff everywhere. Okay, see this design? Nothing pretty to look at right now. What we're gonna do is because right there when you attach them at the top, quite frequently they stick together. So we always wanna do our little test open. Make sure that they're not sticking, which mine are. Okay, so that makes them all open. Now if you trim your top a little more than me going all the way to the point, you won't have that problem. But I didn't trim it. Mine, I, I kind of just cut off at the top there. Okay, so all of these open up now. Okay, so when you want to attach a string, what I do is I just figure out, you know, however long you want to hang it. And I cut a piece of string. You can use yarn, you can use string, you can use whatever you want. What I do is I tie the two ends together, just like this, in a quick little knot, trim the top if you want, and then you have it with the loop right here, okay? Now, we need to get our snowflake open. Now, in order to have a good sturdy spot to tie the string so that it's not gonna rip through, what I do is I wanna put a lot of glue up there on that top part, do you see that? And then run down my T. 
Okay, that's gonna make a spot that we can cut into with our scissors in order to put our string. We're gonna open this up and we're going to create our little thing there. And then right here is where it came together. There's a lot of glue right there. So as this cools, you just let it cool for a second. And when it's cool enough, which it is now, that you can create a little cut, what you wanna do, so I just kinda of fold it over and I just make a little cut in it. Just a little one. Now remember, you're trying to go through that glue. And so you can see it's just this little tiny hole right there. Okay, then you take the end of your string that is looped and you stick it through your hole. Just, uh, just like that. It's way simpler than what it's seeming with me right now. My fingers are playing a little craziness. All right, make sure it's even. Okay, then I loop it and that is going to create the spot where these can hang. See that? Now, you can do them, hang them at different lengths, some short and some long. If I hang this one over here, you know, I'm just gonna wrap it around my knob here and you can see it hangs a little longer. So, thanks for joining me. Stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna make a few more of these and just show you the designs that I put on each snowflake um, onto the paper and then hold up the snowflake so that you can see what each one does.